Hi Virgo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button if you are already a continued subby. You know I love you for it. Quick note about my readings. They are for your sun, moon, and ascendant sign. Whether you're a sun, moon, or rising sign Virgo, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer and more complete picture of how they speak to you and how I resonate with you as a reader. If you haven't, please don't forget to check out my new channel. It is dedicated to meditations and guided visualizations. And if you wanna book your personal reading, you can do so on the link in the description box below. So your key to the week this week is the Justice card, right? And it's funny actually, because even though last week they were random pulls, I actually think you got this card last week. I can't be 100% sure, but <clears throat> the message that the Justice card is giving you this week is two, two messages, right? One, this week you are reaching a final decision on something. This is where you are saying, right, okay, come what may, this is the direction that I'm choosing to go into. Uh, and the other part of this is it's speaking directly to your ability to commit to something. So kind of the same message, if you like, but uh, slightly different. I think a lot of you this week are really going to settle on a specific idea or a certain direction that you maybe have taken your time to, to kind of work out. Not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, I always urge people to take their time with decisions, especially at the moment, because as you know, your ruler Mercury is currently retrograde in the sign of Aquarius. So, for your actions and options this week, you have the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> okay, so if you are having to sign a document this week, be sure and be aware, right? The reason I say be sure is because the Eight of Swords suggests that whatever it is that you sign or align with this week, you will be in it for the long haul and you will be held accountable. You will be held to whatever standard you set. You will be held to whatever decision you make. So don't, you know, this is not a week to do it lightly if it has to be done. If you can get out of that or do it in a different way, then, you know, my advice would be to do that. The other thing with the Eight of Swords as well, <clears throat> yes, it can be constriction and confinement, but this is, look at this, right? Because it's coupled with the Justice card. This is, okay, one of the scary ways to talk about this combination, that can literally represent prison or jail time. Um, now, you know, I'm sure all of you wonderful people are not going to prison or to jail, I don't think that at all. But this is why I say to you, um, whatever you link yourself to, whatever you decide to really follow through with this week, you've got to make sure that you are sure about it because there'll be no getting out of it, certainly not quickly or easily. Um, now, <clears throat> for your communications and conversations, all right. You've got the Magician card. If you are thinking about or looking into any kind of marketing, any kind of uh, big project content drive or anything like that, this week you could make a lot of advancement on a plan that you've created or that you want to create. This is a great week for something like that. It's also a really good week for you to connect with somebody that has the expertise and the skill to do what needs to be done in any of those fields. For those of you that work in the literary sector, for those of you that are coaches, entrepreneurs, for those of you that are YouTubers, content creators, for those of you that work in any of the legal fields as well, um, this is gonna be a really great week for you because even with the Mercury retrograde, there's a strong sense of clarity here, but there's also a really powerful sense of duty. Um, I don't know who needed to hear that, but that is the message that's coming through. If you work for somebody else, um, if you are called upon for a project, especially those of you that are asked to fill in for somebody, just know that that filling in is probably going to turn into you stepping into those shoes. So what's a, a good example? So-and-so's out on maternity leave and we need somebody to do this job. We know that you can do it. So, uh, you know, are you, are you prepared to take that step up or forward? Yeah, absolutely whoever it is that's on maternity leave is likely not to come back. So, you know, I'm not saying, you know, count your chickens before they hatch, but just be aware that whatever you step into as an interim this week will likely be something that ends up being ongoing. So again, just be sure. <clears throat> 
the only reason I could see that being a problem is if maybe, I don't know, maybe it's not really the, the department or the, the job that you actually wanted. And then, you know, it's harder to move on to the thing that you really want because you've already had, you know, a promotion and a pay rise and da 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 da. For those of you that work for yourselves, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, this is great, right? It's a really nice pairing with the justice card um, because it means that you've reached a final decision. This is the way that I'm gonna go. And it looks like, because <laughs> what I'm seeing in my mind is you surrounded by books, paperwork, charts, and all the rest of it. And it's like, I don't like this stuff. I just wanna do the bit that I love, which is the creating, right? Or the, you know, going after new business or whatever, whatever aspect of your business, you know, entrepreneurial sort of pursuit whatever the bit that you love there's an element of that but there's all of the preliminary stuff and the reaching the big decisions that's having to happen at the moment so I like this so I actually think it's a, a nice pairing because it sees you being very focused this week so that eight of swords is actually acting more as a more as an anchor and a grounding mechanism than like a you know like a uh. um, but you may feel that this week so just be aware for your um Oh brain, uh, for those of you that are retired or no longer working, this is going to see you really looking into how you can help people that may have in some way fallen off of their own personal wagon. So whether this is volunteering, whether it's taking the skills and expertise that you have, for a select few of you, if you've worked in the medical sector or whatever, it may be that your local area calls out for nurses or, you know, people that were once in the profession, you might be called upon, you know, so if you've previously been registered in any of that, you might be called upon to serve in some way, shape or form. I know here at the beginning of the pandemic, a lot of the people that were in the medical professional actually went back into it, uh, you know, people that were retired. This combination, you could see that this week, it's definitely a possibility. Um, and for a select few of you as well, there might be jury duty coming up. For your money and materials, you have the page of swords. Okay, so um, whatever you are doing or paying attention to this week, be aware there are two times of this year that are coming through, the time of Gemini and the time of Libra. So we're looking at late May going into June. Um, yes, that's right, late May going into June. Whatever is happening this week, you're gonna be revisiting it around then be aware and uh, for whatever again for some of you the other way that this could play out is late September going into the middle of October um, that's another time that is going to be highlighted so again just keep a wherewithal eye on what's happening at the moment when it comes to your finances smart moves when it comes to the money this week nothing rash um, you know, and also don't convince yourself that you need something that you don't this week because that could definitely be possible. You know, it could be one of those moments of like, well, you know, if I'm going to do this, I need to look the part and you end up spending a grand on a suit or, you know, like it, it, there are other ways to look the part. Do you know what I mean? Like don't convince yourself this week that you need something for the sake of needing it. For your uh, physical health and vitality, <clears throat> sharp objects with the fingers, the hands, the wrists, Please be careful, um, especially with the Eight of Swords. Um, you know, if you're, this is not a week to, you know, to have the phone here and be cutting up the vegetables. Touch wood that I'm wrong, but yeah, just be careful. And then for your home and environment, it's just going to be really busy. Maybe not necessarily with people coming and going, but the flow of information that is traveling around you and through your home this week may make your head spin. You know, in fact, I think that's the good thing about that Eight of Swords. It's offering a bit of an anchor this week, which I think you are going to need. And then, ooh, okay, <laughs> for your love and relations, you have the Tower card. Um, <clears throat> so for those of you that are single, if you are um, talking to someone or, you know, maybe you're seeing somebody and all the rest of it or you're texting and all the rest of it, um, you may come to realise this week that this person is actually a bit of a big deal. Like maybe it's somebody that you, you know, that you don't even know about and then you find out that, I don't know, they're like the head of a company or, do you know what I mean? Like it could just be a realisation of, wow, okay, this person has like three degrees or, you know what I mean? Like how you view them is not how they actually are in their work or in the world. 
And so this week you could be really surprised to learn that, you know, the person that you're kind of texting or sexting <laughs> is, you know, is, is a real big shot. Um, the other way that this could play out for you as well, you could come into the realization that maybe, just maybe, uh, somebody really isn't for you and it could reach a bit of a, a, an explosive climax where you, you know, you and this person just come to the understanding that actually, you know what, we're not for each other. We don't agree on the things that you really need to agree on to make a relationship work. For those of you that are partnered or in relationships, a disruption to either yours or the partner's work is definitely going to be the elephant in the room this week. Uh, if you are partnered or married, just find some time to divert or to focus on your relationship because um, you've got the, the magician card there, right? Which kind of suggests you're like all up in here and you've got these amazing ideas and everything's just really busy and uh, and your partner's like, okay, it's sort of like midnight. Are you coming to bed or, <laughs> you know? So just remember to, to stay grounded and stay present for everything that's already present in your life. Don't live too far into the future this week, all right? Um, I think that's the other thing with the justice card as well. Find a way to have one foot in the present and one foot in the future. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.